Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm going to share some natural preservatives that you can use when making your products. Um, There's so many preservatives out there and I know it can get overwhelming. So I'm just going to share some um, natural approved preservatives that you can use when making your products. Um, so let's jump right in. And if this is your first time stopping by, my name is Esther and I make DIY natural hair and skincare videos. So I am going to say that um, anytime you're going to use a preservative, it is important to do your own research as well. Uh, make sure that uh, the preservative you choose um, works for your product that you're making. There's so many preservatives out there, so you have to do your own research. So what is a preservative? So an ingredient that you're going to add to stop the growth of bacteria, yeast and mold in your skincare products and preservatives help to extend the shelf life of your products. Do you need a preservative? It really depends on the type of product you're making. Um, so if you're making uh, more of water-based products, you definitely need a preservative. And of course, if you're making anhydrous products, oil-based products, it really depends. So for example, um, a hair oil um, does not need a preservative. If it's only made with oil um, ingredients, body butter, um, some people add preservatives to their body butter, but honestly, you really do not need a preservative. Um, you need something like uh, an antioxidant like vitamin E to help extend the shelf life. So oil-based products typically do not need preservatives. Um, something like uh, maybe a scrub, a lip scrub, body scrub, even though they are made with uh, mostly oil, sugar, um, I would recommend adding a preservative, but it's not a must. Um, if you are making a scrub without preservatives, just put um, somewhere in the instructions to avoid um, getting water into that product. So depending on the product type, that will determine the type of preservative to use because um, some preservatives only work for water-based products or um, oil-based products. So you want to choose the right preservative for your product. So for a cream or lotion type uh, product, you want to choose a preservative that will be effective in that product. Um, another example would be uh, maybe something like a body wash, even a shampoo. You want to choose a preservative that will also be effective for that product type. Um, a face serum, which is mostly um, water-based ingredients. Same thing, you want to choose a preservative that will work in that face serum as well. Things like your face washes, face cleansers, the same thing. You want to choose a preservative that will work in that product as well as um, a preservative that will work in the correct pH as well. So for this video, I'm focusing on natural EcoCert approved preservatives. There are several of these out there, um, but I'm going to go over a few. I have used a couple of these preservatives. So as always, please, please, please do your research. Um, if you decide to use preservatives when making your products, um, I have noticed uh, several businesses online not listing their preservatives. Um, if you're selling something like a body wash, feminine wash, face wash, cleanser, and you list your ingredients and there's no preservative, um, that is not the right thing to do because you're making a water-based product. So you need something to preserve that cleanser or wash. So. Um, some businesses I've noticed would list uh, most of their ingredients and then just put preservative as the name or natural preservative. That is also not correct. You want to list the actual preservative you are using. So before you choose a preservative, make sure you're looking at these three things. 
checking to see what solubility it is what it's preserving against you always want to choose a broad spectrum preservative that protects against bacteria yeast and mold and very important the ph um, you want to make sure that whatever product you're making you are checking the ph and the ph uh, range um, lines up with the preservative i will have another video going more in depth about ph but you want to check the ph of your product that you're making making sure that that preservative is effective in that ph range first on my list is the uxil k903 this is a broad spectrum uh, preservative um, you can use this in so many of your formulations um, your face washes body washes shampoos creams lotions um, it's not good for um, anhydrous products so uh, maybe like a scrub i would not recommend using it in a scrub so mostly your water-based products this is an amazing preservative to use um, the ph goes up to six is what it's uh, recommended to use um, but this is a great preservative to consider and i'll put the information where i purchased mine from next is geoguard ect it's also known as preservative echo this is another uh, broad spectrum preservative it's good for so many different formulations skincare products creams lotions toners the list is on there on their website i'll leave it in the description box um, but you can use it in a ph between three to eight um, it is not completely um, water soluble so you will need a solubilizer if you're making something like a toner because it's not going to completely dissolve um, in that water-based product but once again all that information is online on the supplier website and i will leave that in the description box for you next is geoguard ultra this is another broad spectrum um, eco set approved preservative um, the difference with this one is um, the ph range is slightly lower than the geoguard ect uh, the ph is between three to six for this one it has a uh, slightly more uh, solubility in water so slightly better and it's also less heat sensitive so you can add this to your uh, formulation at room temperature or even when the temperature is um, elevated um, but all the information will be in the description box and um, where you can purchase this one from And next is Lewisidal Complete. Um, this is one of my favorite preservatives to use. I use this in so many of the products I make, my face washes, cleansers, shampoos, body washes, face mist, toners, scrubs. <laughs> I use it in so many things. Um, but this is a very effective uh, preservative to use. It is EcoSet approved. Um, it is uh, water soluble as well and of course it is heat sensitive so you want to add this at the correct uh, temperature when you're making your products um, it has a higher ph range of uh, between five to nine um, but it is a really good preservative to use and i will um, link um, where I, I purchased mine from in the description box so I will say that sometimes you have to combine two preservatives to have stronger and better protection. For example, on this list, if you look at Lewisidal SF Max, that is also an EcoSet preservative, but it, it helps um, prevent the growth of bacteria in your product, some fungus, um, but the Amtisite Coconut only prevents the growth of yeast and mold so if you use them um, together then you have um, stronger and better protection or you can just use the lewisidal complete next is aspen bark powder this is a natural um, eco set approved uh, preservative as well um, it is water soluble i haven't used this one personally um, but this is next on my list to try out um, it is effective in a ph range uh, between three to nine um, it is water soluble it's in powder form so you just have to dissolve it in water um, there are instructions on how to use this preservative and i will leave the supplier um, 
um, link in the description box um, it has antibacterial protection protection against mold um, so definitely try this one out um, because of the pH range it's a higher pH range um, between 3 to 9 so definitely a good one to try I hope you found this list of uh, preservatives helpful. I hope you found this video useful. Um, this is not a complete um, eco set uh, preservatives list. There's still several out there. Um, these are just some of the preservatives I've used and some that I'm planning on testing out in my um, own products. Of course, please do your own research, research, research. Um, before you use any of these preservatives mentioned, um, make sure that it works for your own product that you are making. And just a few more tips, um, make sure you're choosing a broad spectrum preservative. That is so important. Um, you want to choose a preservative that covers bacteria, yeast and mold um, protection. Um, you want to, um, you may have to combine one or two preservatives together for even stronger protection. And of course, the pH is so important. Uh, whatever preservative you choose, make sure it works in your product at the correct pH. So that way it is um, effective. And please add it at the correct temperature. And of course, make sure you're following supplier guidelines when using preservatives. If you have any questions about um, any of the preservatives I mentioned, please reach out to me in the comments and I'll do my best to answer your questions. Please don't forget to subscribe if you've not. And also please like this video because that really supports me. And also please don't forget to turn on your notifications so you don't miss any new videos I upload and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.